we're going to test out a new portable fire pit that is supposed to be smokeless. All that heat going up, it would be easy to roast a hot dog or whatever you wanted to cook. I think that would work well. Yeah. You know, just, just take that out and you've got a nice fire. We're camping, and in this video, we're going to test out a new portable fire pit that is supposed to be smokeless. And Mike's going to start out with the unboxing. One of the things that Jennifer and I really enjoy about camping is having a fire. But we have two problems with that. The first is smoke. Um, I don't mind a little bit of smoke from the fire, but Oftentimes when you're in a campground and the, the fire pit is right next to your RV, there's smoke, it blows in the RV, it can be pretty uh, annoying. But the biggest problem is, is that most of our camping is boondocking out in uh, the wilds of uh, national forest and state forest and BLM land. Out there, you got to be really careful about a fire. Many places, um, they don't really encourage you to have a ground fire. Uh, there's always the problem of uh, a fire that could get out of control. Uh, you know all the issues that are involved there. So that is why, for those two reasons, we don't like the smoke, and we need to have something self-contained for our fires. That's why I got really excited when we got this. This is called the Pyro and they are actually billing this as the world's most portable fire pit. It's got a pretty interesting concept. So let's open it up, put it together, and talk about this a bit. So here it is. This is the pie road, and uh, I think our best thing is to get a fire going on it. Now, they say it is smokeless. It was designed, they say, by an airflow engineer, and um, it's pretty sturdy. It feels really, really nice. They're fairly expensive. Uh, they start at about 100 bucks. Uh, you're to crumple up some paper and um, start some kindling and I guess the best way to do it is just to do it. So let's go have a fire and see what this thing is like. Well, we have a fire. And it was so easy easy to start. One match started that. That was pretty good. I wonder if it's because, you know, it's pyramid shaped. I would think that would definitely help because I know whenever we make a regular campfire, we try to make a teepee. Well, it stays in a teepee shape. Now, mm -hmm. here comes the ultimate test. Uh, you don't like campfires because of the smoke. smoke. How about this one? This is the best campfire I've ever been around. Really? I mean, there was smoke, smoke in the beginning. And it that was because of the newspaper and the yeah. paper and the paper bag I used to start it. Yep. Right, but um, I don't know how they do it, but there isn't smoke. Yeah, uh, I don't know either. Uh, the other thing I'm noticing is that it's uh, kind of an even radiant heat that, that comes out. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. I love it. Where has it been all my life? All my camping years out in the woods, I really like it. And the best feature for you? That the coals fall inward. They're not sparking out and flying all over the place. It seems a little bit safer. 
and uh, I'm thinking all that heat going up, it would be easy to roast a hot dog or whatever you wanted to cook over the heat. I think that would work well. And uh, it's just neat and tidy. Where I really see us using this is uh, when we're boondocking. Oh, me too. You know, uh, how many times have we been boondocking? We're someplace in the middle of nowhere and we want a fire, but uh, it's dry or we don't have the time to go gather stones or uh, we don't want to dig a hole and have, have to make a fire pit. You certainly don't want a fire on the, on the open ground. So uh, that would be a really nice place for it. Yeah. You know, just, just take that out and you've got a nice fire. You've got heat. I, I, I really like all of that. Uh, I, think, I think that's a really good angle. And it looks like it would collapse and fold down into something that doesn't take much room. Yeah. Uh, well, it does. Just a few plates. Now, the big question I have is uh, whether it is going to um, be messy, you know, after you, you get the coals smelly? out of there. Messy and smelly. It's got a bag you wrap it up in, and I'll, I'll put that in. But uh, that's the one thing I, I want to check before we uh, give it a 100% uh, sign. So what is it now, like a 95%? <laughs> yeah, it all depends on how dirty it is when you have to clean it up, but uh, we'll see. We have a fire. Let's just enjoy it. It's uh, the next morning and uh, I can pick it up. It's cool enough. You can see the ashes down in there. Mm -hmm. All neat. Burned everything up. I'm going to put it in this thing. Now, how do you empty it? I could just take it all apart, but I think the best way is in this fire pit. We'll just, uh, we'll just let it all out like that. Not much. Take this off. We're going to take it apart now. Not too bad. And that's the plate. You can see, not bad. I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe them off, I think. Mm -hmm. That's the bottom, and then the three sides. And then, here are the three sides. Pretty easy. Now, if I, look, see, yeah. that's what I don't like about it. You really should be wearing gloves. Yep. Doesn't look like it's messy, but that's a mess. Yeah. Not much is coming off. Now, when you're boondocking or camping, water, you know, is at a premium. And, you know, my hands are still messy from this. So I'm going to go put it in its uh, bag now. Close it up. Close it up pretty tight. So that keeps it, uh, that keeps, keeps it, you know, pretty bag. nice. But you can imagine how this is all going to get after a while. And you can... If you're taking it out with you, you can put it on your back. So my my take on this thing is it's a great it's a great uh, portable fire pit. It produces great heat. There's very little smoke. It's great for boondocking. My concern is, uh, as you saw, what a mess it makes. So uh, if I'd worn gloves, it would have been a different thing. But when you're boondocking, water you know you you take care of your water, and you don't want to have to spend a lot of time cleaning up your hands because you got some gunk from the fire thing. But that's all education, that's all learning, and uh, that won't happen the next time. So there you go. It's a pretty cool product, and I guess uh, we can recommend it. We'll put a link uh, below in the description for more information. And we love getting your suggestions of products that we should test. So send them along, Mike and Jen at RVLifestyle.com. That's it for this video. Thanks for uh, watching. Happy trails.